everyone. Welcome into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly. Thanks for joining us. Back again is my dear friend, my goodness gracious, <laughs> Jewel. It's so good to have you again. Thank you. And today we're going to be talking about the uh, Palm Harbor Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. and we're going to be sharing some of the things that are going on in the community. We have a great summer plan. There's so many different events and, and all going on. And then we're also going to be talking about some of the events that you and I attended, and that will be coming up in another show. So you'll have to be tuning in to My Chamber TV. We go up live every Wednesday at 3.30. So it's great to get started. And Absolutely. I know you want to share your website, too, for everybody, because Jewel not only is, Jewel McKeon is her name, she is not only a representative for two chambers, but she runs a really stellar, I mean, of epic proportions, I must say, Thank of you. a marketing company that she did all on her own and has been making a huge difference in the community. And I know for sure, because you got my Dancing with the Local Stars up to over a thousand hits on that. <laughs> Bless your heart. This gal really knows what she's doing. Here you can uh, check it out. And uh, certainly, um, this is your... Uh, your website and you, gosh, brand and marketing. It's all about branding, yeah, isn't whatever it? Whatever it takes, depending, no matter what size of business it is. Yeah. Whether it's the president of the United States or whether it's a city or whether it's an entrepreneur with a dream. You know, that is so true. And that's why I love doing these chamber shows is because we get to talk about some of the different things that is so important in business. And I tell you, it, it, it echoes every single day of my life. One of the things that you said when I first met you and just felt that connection right away, when you said business is not as usual anymore. We used to say that all the time. You know how things go and eh, business as usual, no more, right? Exactly. Now, why is that? Because I'm sure we always get new viewers every week. So why, why is that that it is, keeps changing and evolving? Well, we've had a phenomenon happen over the last few years where technology has really grown and, and just exploded, creating new solutions and new ways to reach people. Plus, with you know, and it's it's on all different levels. Uh, the smartphone has been a huge contribution to changing how consumers are shopping and where they want to go and find the information. We're also now very hooked on information so people are hungry and they like to do their searching with their smartphones so about 87 percent of the searches are now done with a smartphone and they're even saying that it's possible that the desktop could just go away no kidding no my kidding <laughs> now that's new news to me from just what a week or two ago really yeah and 87 people are on their smartphones yeah 87 percent wow. of them are on their smartphones and and if, if you don't have a website that is what they call responsive, and that is where it goes, it, it will adjust the screen. If you're on a, a desktop, it'll be full screen. But if you go to a, a smartphone, it'll adjust itself, and you won't have to enlarge or scroll around. It'll, it'll just be as, as quick and easy to use mm -hmm. as if you were looking at it on uh, a laptop, a, mm -hmm. a tablet, and or your desktop. So, so it makes it much easier obviously yeah. which it I mean when people are trying to look up websites and things like that they'll be able to do that quite effortlessly yeah. and, the, and the world um, so what's happened and then in with technology then they've created apps they call them apps mm -hmm. and they're they're uh, something that you can use on your smartphones and so you can it's really advisable that when businesses can that they take a look at having an app, even if it's a simple one, but something, people love that interaction and mm. gets them connected, and they stay on your site. But if they come to a website that isn't, and they're on their smartphone and it's not responsive, they're gone in three seconds, and they won't be back. Three seconds? Three seconds. Everybody wants things fast. That fast? Fast, I fast. mean, they won't even wait six or seven seconds. <laughs> it's three seconds. Well, you know what? Nope. It, in a way, it's... <sighs> I, what I have to say about this really is what is happening with all this technology? Everybody is in such a darn big hurry. 
where's the patience anymore is my question, right? But you have to go with the flow, don't you? Yeah, and if you can remember when the when the websites first started, and they weren't really as fast as they are now, mm -hmm. and, it, and the, the services didn't allow them to be any faster, a lot of people would just get, oh, forget it. I don't have time to wait for this to build and open mm -hmm. up, you know. So we've always been pretty much need it now, but it's even more so. Well, that's that's... Very well said, and that's one of the things that we bring to you here on My Chamber TV is the latest and the greatest in technology, giving you tips for your business. And I, I have to say it, as I say so many times, that everybody that comes on the show says the same thing about being a member of the Chamber mm -hmm. and how really critical it is for you to become a member of your Chamber of Commerce in your particular area because it opens up so many doors and so many relationships. And I'm seeing that even while our technology is really, really fast and we want that information fast, we're, we want to see video, we want to see live people and all that, it's still about relationship building. People want that that one-on-one -on -one relationship, right? Yeah, and that's the core of it. And part of the innovations in technology are helping you build those relationships quicker so mm -hmm. people get a sense of who you are and mm -hmm. they start to really connect with you. So. Makes a lot of sense. So In the next half hour, I have some other amazing things to share with you. So. All right. Well, what's coming up? <laughs> okay, what, what do we so, have going on around town? All right. So the Palm Harbor Chamber, uh, I, I want people to know that Palm Harbor, it's the Palm, it's the Greater Palm, Palm, it's the Palm Harbor Greater Area Chamber of Commerce because it spans from East Lake to Tarpon, down to Curlew, all the way to the to the beaches. Mm -hmm. So it's a big area, but what I just learned today is that Palm Harbor is the biggest tax base in the Pinellas County. And so we generate more money than any of the St. Pete, Clearwater, any of those. Really? And we also generate more pennies for Pinellas than any other area in Pinellas County. You know, that doesn't surprise me. I had the pleasure of going to a few of the events for Palm Harbor, and I attended the breakfast, and I think, was that the first time? No, that was the second time that I had met Connie. Connie Davis, if you're out there, mwah, we love you. <laughs> she is a little fireball, isn't she? That she is. You talk about getting things done. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, when I moved my mom down here, I moved her to Palm Harbor. I just wanted her to be where things were happening and all, and, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that I did for the time that she was here in Florida. She was living in Palm Harbor quite happily and everything. So you have some different events coming up. Yes, I want to share that. And, you know, the <laughs> one thing that I want to point out, too, is that since we're an unincorporated city, mm -hmm. the chamber is, you know, provides an honorary mayor, and <laughs> they are the place where all visitors stop and people come to find out where to go. And so... They're an amazing resource, but I want to tell you, there's a couple, like if you're here listening, there is a grand opening tonight that is going to be uh, amazing, and uh, it's a ribbon cutting tonight, um, and it starts at 5.30, and then the ribbon cutting actually is at 6. They're, they've got all sorts of, it's, it's called Living Young, and it's a, it's a health and anti-aging center. Very nice. And it's in the uh, Alderman Plaza right at the corner of... Um, 19 and um, Alderman, and it's it's near the LA Fitness. Oh, very good. Just and a little bit north of there. It's like in that center. So okay. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So somewhere back in there, I have, I'll be there tonight. I'll know. I will be able to answer that next time I talk. There to you me. go. And they they've got like a spin the wheel for prizes. There's all sorts of services that they're having drawings for, and it's going to be a wonderful event. I I got to meet the owner at uh, our. Uh, Thursday morning breakfast on uh, the very first Thursday of every week we have a breakfast at the Palm Harbor Library and that's amazingly well attended so um, she's very dynamic and people I think are really going to enjoy it so. very nice you can come to the ribbon cutting and that's a great time to come but if not all through this week May 11th through May 16th and it's at 35 136 US Highway 19 in the Alderman Plaza in Palm Harbor. And just before we started the show, we were talking about they're going to have some very deep discounts on fillers mm -hmm. and Botox. Botox and things like that. If you're so inclined, check it out. It's called Living Young 
Yes. Living young. I'm all for that. Yeah, and I know you are, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then I have to tell you this morning, the chamber is was looking for something. Palm Harbor wanted to do something for the businesses to help them be more successful. So they came up with the idea of coffee for closers. So, which I love the name. It's really great. And so it's on the second and fourth um, Wednesday of every month. And they meet at Lucky Dill. Second and, and fourth Wednesday. And what time? And it's at 8 a.m. to 9.15. Oh, okay. And, of course, Lucky Dill is an amazing place to be. Yeah, it is. They've got <laughs> oh, great love, breakfast, too. Oh, my gosh. I love it. And it's. I always ate outside. I'd never gone inside to eat. So I'm like... It's my favorite place right now. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, it's designed to help you build uh, your sales skills, close more sales, grow your business, expand your network, and uh, receive your, you know, receive your ideal referrals. So, uh, there were about 30 of us there today, and uh, everybody got a lot out. Lori Evans was the uh, the speaker today and she talked about relationship selling. Now so. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to put you on the spot. Sure. What were a couple of things that you were able to glean from that this morning? Because I know you have a lot of your own answers with all this being the marketing maven. Okay, well I'm going to tell you that um, a statistic that I did not know, I love statistics because <laughs> I do a lot of business intelligence, um, it, about being present to when you meet someone and you're talking to them. Mm. Um, it is a proven fact that people's attention, they only pay attention about 17 seconds out of a minute. That's not very much. That's not very much. So you either have to say something that really catches their attention now, is and that holds the, them there. Is that in the first 17 seconds? <laughs> yeah. So what are they thinking? What they're going to have for dinner in the rest of the minute? They may be looking at what outfit you're wearing, <laughs> and they might be thinking oh what, you know, what they're going to do next. You know, you know how we... Don't always stay in the moment. We start to think we got to get to here and here and here, or we're thinking about something that happened that, you know, it's, it's kind of pointless to think so about it because it's over and done. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's really being focused. Yes, it's focused. It's basically yeah, what it comes down exactly to. Right. I, I get that. I get that. <laughs> Wow, so. you're always full of statistics. <laughs> Some of them I really don't want to oh. hear them. Uh, it's the truth, though. I well, mean, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then she believes in a lot of people think that 30 seconds is what your elevator speech or your intro should be, but mm -hmm. she is a proponent of it being in 10 seconds. So we had to do an exercise today on how to, uh, how to come up with a 10 seconds that would really hold their interest within that 17 seconds and make a difference so that they remember this. So it was uh, Now that's was news to me. I know. And that's <laughs> news we can use. My, wait a minute, 10 seconds. I mean, mm -hmm. I had to bullet point my HSN presentations down to as little as maybe 90 seconds, but 10 seconds? Uh, I'll tell so you. So what was the, what's in the body of 10 well, seconds? I'm gonna tell you what mine was. Okay. Okay. I help businesses reach top tier success by branded marketing that saves time money and surpasses your competition you got my attention say that again okay uh, he, this is valuable <laughs> trust me valuable information i help businesses reach top tier success by brand and marketing that saves time money and surpasses your competition I could not improve on that. I bet you had a standing ovation on that well, one. <laughs> it, was, it was really neat because I went to a place where I <clears throat> thought about it differently. Because I am in B and I, so I'm used to a 30 second, you mm -hmm. know. But but knowing that 17 second attention span is there, you really have to say something pretty pretty valuable. Exactly, and you did that. You really nailed that. Yeah, thank you. I was I'm, impressed with myself. You too. should be. You should be. Well, you know, sometimes you can we can all waste time when we don't focus on what we're going to do, you know, with the features and benefits and to be compelling, to be inviting for whoever's going to be listening to what we're saying. Yeah. And that is perfect. I want I want a copy of that. I'll be glad to send you a copy. That, you mean of my 10 seconds? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs>
do that. I'll even send you the workbook. I so. won't copy it though. I won't <laughs> say it. That's okay. I mean, you just say, I'll do my own. You customize it. I'll customize it. Yes. And customize it to what you yes. want them to know that you do. Yes. In fact, you're going to be a chapter in Dance Life book. That's a really good little oh, really? Tidbook, t okay. tidbit that you can share with people and, you know, women starting over and yeah. everything. You know, there's, you know, on that note, not only women, but there's a lot of people starting over. And I'm glad that you're, sh this is valuable information, sharing about the attention span, because everybody's in such a darn big hurry. Maybe they're trying to regroup from maybe a financial setback or two or three or whatever it is. So we're always in a hurry to catch up, catch up, catch up. And I think what happens is we don't take the time to focus on the very, very important points on hand, and then it gets left behind. We may be thinking that we're moving fast, but we're going nowhere. Does that make sense? Very much. Makes a lot of sense. And, you know, you can think about it applying to um, a lot of different areas. I mean, if you're, if you're out to meet some people and build some relationships, you know, not going on and on about something, but being able to say something really powerful that will kind of catch their attention in that 10 seconds is a, a valuable tool to use. You know what? You just gave me an idea for my son who's trying to meet somebody. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're going to take a brief little time out. When we come back, maybe I'll think of my 10 second oh, good. <laughs> pitch. Stay with us. We'll be back after this. The last several years have been confusing and trying for homeowners. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group was there before the housing crisis, during, and we are still here now advising people of their options and helping them choose the best financial solutions for their family. You do have options, and today's market promises lots of opportunities. We have found that there are a lot of questions out there and misinformation, and we want you to know we have answers. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group providing solutions today for a better tomorrow. that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care. Gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Hi, I'm Derek Brooks, former linebacker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. During my NFL career, I realized the importance of giving back and started my foundation, Derek Brooks Charities. We help Tampa Bay youth prepare for a successful life through our college prep and mentoring programs. Our goal is to see youth excel academically and develop strong characters and be better citizens for tomorrow. To further our mission, we've teamed up with Fun Night a company that gives members access to thousands of nationwide discounts on products and services they buy every day. These include entertainment, retail purchases, dining, and travel. Best of all, 33% of every membership fee goes to the charity of your choice. We love being able to save our supporters money while giving them a unique opportunity to support our charitable work in the community. I invite you to consider using Fun Night to save money and give back to your favorite cause. Visit www.funnight.us to sign up now and get a free 30-day trial. Save money, help others with Fun Night, and support Derek Brooks Charity. Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short term, long term, your terms. Apply online at norcommortgage.com.
Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Welcome back into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community. I'm your host, Barbara Marvel. With me is Jewel McKeon, and I have to tell you, she is a gem of a jewel with information, but she really works from her heart, and that's one of the first things that you shared with me when we met, that you really do your business based on feeling the other person's heart. And I'm finding that, more, I'm hearing that more and more and more from people. I'm guessing that that's probably how you really do build a deeper relationship in business. Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think because, you know, you really want to be in their world, understand mm -hmm. their dreams and visions, because this is, you know, when someone creates a business, they have a lot of passion for it, mm -hmm. and you want to see them be successful. Sure. So Absolutely. Um, now, we have just a few minutes left, and I know that there's really some fun packed things going on in Palm Harbor Chamber of Commerce. So let's go ahead and share those. Okay. So, uh, this is tomorrow night, May 14th at 5.30 p.m. Um, it's the Palm Harbor Chambers uh, Mix and Mingle event. And there's food, which is fabulous. It's at Leo's Italian Grill, and he always fixes up a big spread for, for us to have to eat there. And then uh, there's also a full bar there if anybody wants, wants any kind of beverage. Um, and they recommend that people, you don't have to be a member of the chamber. Um, but they recommend that people that come, if they want to bring a door prize, and they'll get an extra awareness of their um, of their company and their business. So it's a great marketing tool and a great way to network. Nice, very so nice. It starts at five thirty and uh, probably goes till about eight eight thirty. Another and, way. And Leo's is on. Um, if you've not been to Leo's Italian Grill, it's beware of the rolls. They're sinfully good. Oh. <laughs> um, it's at 33286 U.S. Highway 19 North. It's it's north of Tampa Road and south of Alderman. So. Great. I oh, no, south of Nebraska. It's closer between Nebraska and Tampa. Good. And uh, the next thing is there is the Tampa Bay Cat Alliance is having a charity sock hop fundraiser is mm. this fun or not oh my goodness where's <laughs> that it's well let's see let's i'll tell you in just a minute <laughs> without my glasses <laughs> it's on may 24th yes 6 to 9 p.m there's food uh it's a ten dollar fee to enter and that goes toward the uh fundraiser mm -hmm. for the the uh, cat alliance there's going to be a raffle and there's going to be prizes nice and music by encore with uh, costume and dance contest. This is up your alley. You oh, should come. Oh, how fun. <laughs> what day is that? That's tomorrow. No, the 24th. That's the next. Yeah, the 24th. Today's the, uh, today's the 13th, so. Okay. So. Yeah, that probably would be right up my alley. <laughs> you <Yeah>. too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is really, I'm sorry I didn't bring my glasses. What do you, here. Here, I think you can read that. It tells the oh my goodness! And everything. Even uh, so. okay, uh, food delicious. <laughs> delicious! Sorry. It's so tiny print. Anyway, they're going to have really food. Are professionals. Yeah, we. <laughs> it's all an act. <laughs> 
They're going to have food, and it's May 24th, 6 to 9, Charity Sock Hop Fundraiser. And, I, you know, I'm all about these fundraisers, and, oh, gosh, when it comes to kids and animals, I'm all about that. So uh, for more information, 727 203-3313, and you can find out any little tidbits that you may want to know. And again, it's May 24th, 6 to 9. I just I just make, yeah. grab my honey and show up and go out and cut a rug in some fun sock hop poodle skirt. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing that I want to tell you is that, um, you know, Palm Harbor is very historic, and mm -hmm. uh, the Downtown Business Association and the the chamber does everything they can to support them in their fundraising. They have been working on raising enough money so they can get some antique OED gas light looking street lights. So they're getting their first four street lights. Nice. They'll be on Florida Avenue. Very and then nice. they will continue to add till they, they get more of the downtown area, the side streets and all the way to Alderman 19 and up to County Road 1. That's very nice. So, uh, and they've worked really hard on this. And they're, they're planning the next event for them that's a fundraiser toward the streetlights is Parrothead Festival, which is, there's been, this will be the seventh one, and it's like from 4 in the afternoon until 10 or 11 at night. So it's an evening of music and drinks and fun and it's family and just amazing. So, that's great. They yeah. really are so active in raising funds for the city. Yeah. I think that's wonderful. Yeah, Good. And, and that's the, the you know that's an interesting thing because we are because we're in uh, unincorporated. We don't get any support from the county, which is kind of interesting. Mm. So we have to fundraise everything. <laughs> but I'm suggesting that maybe they consider talking to some of the businesses and uh, residents that would like to sponsor a street light and have a plaque that on their street light that they helped light up. That's a good Harbor idea. Village, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do about that. Well, I want to hear about that. Okay. Yeah, so. we'll have to come back. We'll have to talk more about that. Yeah. In our so, shows yeah. to uh, to raise those funds. We know there's a lot of you out there with deep pockets, right? It, yeah. And the other thing is is that particularly for any of the Palm Harbor Chamber members or even if you're just a new member, um, they've got a contest going. They're having a membership drive and um, there, um, if any chamber member, uh, if they bring in one new member, they get $25 in chamber bucks. And if they bring in two, they get another $25. So now they have 50. And then if they bring in three, they get their, their uh, membership renewed for free for the nice. next year. Well, that's nice. So, yeah, so it, it helps build and bring in maybe colleagues and businesses that they like working with and makes the chamber even stronger. Absolutely. And it's not hard to encourage people to join the chamber because Connie just, she just runs a fun ship over there. You know, I used to think that chambers were like kind of stiff or, mm -hmm. you know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say. But I tell you, I have more, I have more fun at these chamber events. Everybody's like, Laid back, low key, still business and professional, but still a lot of fun and very loving and caring and all that. It's all, it's like a family affair. It is. It's like the chamber family. Yeah, it very. It's very much like that. Yeah. So what else do you have? Well, let's see. Do you want me to give you some more interesting tips? Or you, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Absolutely. Then. Okay. So, um, you when you're talking to um, a potential client that you, or you've met. You want to talk the the language of benefits. Mm -hmm. So, um, two things that um, that you really want to listen to is I need to save time, or I need to save money, or I want, or I'm looking for, mm -hmm. and then you now have the clues to how you can respond to that. And tell them how you can help them save money, mm -hmm. save time, etc. So those are the clues to listen to from another business person, right? In order to help offer your services or your products or mm -hmm. what have you. Very good. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you, having those tips are really very helpful. And we also want. Do you have? Did you have more? Well, let's see. Um, I'm trying to squeeze as much as I can for, from Jewel today. Well. Okay, so the other thing is your professionalism 
and your appearance and enthusiasm in your presentation of who you are and what your business is. So you really want to be excited about what you have to bring to them. And, um, and then you also want to just always plan for an unexpected question that you didn't think that it comes out of the blue. So you just have to learn to just listen and then you can circle back if you want and relate it to what, you know, what they're saying. I have a question for you on that only because of the way I live my life and my husband does living from the heart and everything. Supposing you're doing a business, working for someone or what have you, and you you're not all that excited about it. How do you stir that excitement up and be authentic and be real or at least come across that way? Because you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying and that's a <coughs> that's a <coughs> excuse me. That's a big challenge. Um, when you don't have passion for what you're doing, I, I would say that you need to to like take time out and think about why you started your business um, and get in touch with that that you found a lot of joy in and look at how you can make a difference in other people's world. And you most likely are making a difference in people's world. You just sometimes don't really realize just how much of a difference you're making mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the contribution that you're bringing to them. So if, you, if you've lost your zest for your business or the people you're working for, would you think that maybe digging a little bit deeper, maybe taking some time in prayer and meditation to maybe kind of step out of the box? As we were saying in the beginning of the show, business is not as usual as it used to be. And then maybe you can find something to be passionate and excited about by sort of uh, fueling the fire and mm -hmm. fanning the flames, so to speak. Does that, does that make sense? Absolutely. That is a great way to put it. Very good. Well, thank you. Yeah. And we want to thank you for joining us today. And next week, Jewel will be talking about more great things with the Clearwater Chamber. So thanks for being with us today. And remember, if you're not a member of your Chamber of Commerce, I would definitely go knocking on their doors and find out how you can help each other. Thanks for joining us on My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community.